Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about the charting screen and how to modify the charting screen. The charting screen is found in the advanced versions of Dentamax. Okay. Um, also, uh, we can view our digital x-rays. Uh, we have a digital x-ray system available that tightly integrates with the charting screen in Dentamax. So you can view your x-ray okay, and do your charting at the same time. In the charting screen, you can click on little buttons that represent either procedure codes or multi-codes, group of procedure codes. And so here we are clicking on our resin, and I can go ahead and do my treatment planning. So we're going to go ahead and mark the, the uh, distal and the occlusal surface of tooth number 28, and boom, it puts in the right code for that, my ID 2392. And then I can present this to my patient as a procedure that we want to perform. Well, uh, to make this screen fit your specific needs for your office, um, you can totally customize it. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, for example, these menus that we have here for the various procedure codes, click on endo, here's my endo procedure buttons, um, I can move these around. My restorative happens to be here at the very, very bottom. Let me go ahead and just move it to the top. Just drag it up to the top and now it appears here at the very top. Not only can you move your menus around, but you can also move your buttons. Here I have my MOD button for my composites. Huge time saver. Well, that's way down here at the bottom uh, of my restorative menu. Uh, this button I use all the time, I might want to whoop, drag it here to the top. Okay? So very definable. Not only can you move your menus around and your buttons around, you can also create your own menus and your own buttons. Okay? To create a menu, just right click here and we can go ahead and click on Add Menu. And so let's say that um, I do a lot of endo, so I want to have special endo buttons for, for me. And I am Dr. Arno. I'll go ahead and say OK. And just like that, I have a new menu called Dr. Arno. Now, to add my own buttons, all I have to do is right click in here and click on Add a Code. When I do that, I'm given the opportunity to either add a procedure code or I can add a multi code. Okay, let's go ahead and add a procedure code. I'll go ahead and, and put in a D3330, which is a molar root canal. And then I'll go ahead and pick a picture for that. And we'll see the one that looks most like a molar root canal. And I think it's this one right here. And we'll go ahead and save our changes. Now a new button for my molar root canal. So I click on that and click on tooth number two. Boom, it pops in a molar root canal for tooth number two. And there it is right there. Um, let's go ahead and add a button for multi-code. Just right click here, add a code, and we'll select the multi-code, um, let's see, a crown. Okay, and this multi-code will place a crown, a buildup, and seat all at once. We'll go ahead and pick a procedure that most looks like a, a crown. <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, I'll pick this nice gold one here for fun. Click on save, and now when we click on this button, boom, we can go ahead and click on tooth number two. And the program automatically pops in uh, cutting the crown, the core buildup for the crown, and seating the crown. Okay. And so as you can see, uh, Denimax's screen here in the charting screen is not only very powerful, but it very, very customizable, making it a wonderful tool for your staff to do treatment planning. I hope you've enjoyed this tip of the week, and we look forward to next week.